Welcome to the channel of Vilash Coach and Educationist. Today we are going to study biology. And in biology we are going to deal with the digestive system. So first of all we'll see why do we study biology. In fact any subject. The very first point is curiosity is must to know to gain knowledge. Kisi cheez ko janne ki iksha ya jigyasa sabse zyada zaruri hai. Dusra, us subject ka application aap kahan karenge? Kahan pe use hoga? Jaise trigonometry hum padhte hain, kahan istemal hote hain? Respiratory system padh ke hame kya fayda hoga? Ye sari cheeze janna aur samajhna bahut zaruri hota hai. Isliye किसी भी सब्जेक्ट को लव द सब्जेक्ट टू मेक इट इजियर फॉर यू टू लर्न सी चॉइस एंड ऑप्शन आर नॉट अवेलेबल इन स्कूल एंड नाइदर योर पेरेंट्स आर गोइंग टू गिव यू सो बेटर लव द सब्जेक्ट सो नाउ अल्टीमेटली द चॉइस इज योर्स आई द लव सब्जेक्ट एंड लर्न और लर्न इन प्रेशर आई पर्सनली रिकमेंड टू लव एंड लर्न one of the most hated subjects of the students ab agar clamidomonas streptococcus in terms ko soch kar ke agar is subject se dar jaoge so ye hard lagega hi apne bare mein jaan rahe ho living things ke bare mein jaan rahe ho so thoda interest leke samjho biology term is derived from two different verbs that is bios and logia bios means life वो कोई भी चीज जो जीवित है जिसमें लाइफ है जान है एंड लोजिया मीन्स स्टडी ऑफ सो बायोलॉजी अल्टीमेटली मीन्स द स्टडी ऑफ लाइफ द स्टडी ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स द स्टडी ऑफ एनिमल्स द स्टडी ऑफ बर्ड्स द स्टडी ऑफ प्लांट्स द स्टडी ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स इस वक्त हम लॉकडाउन में बैठे हुए हैं ड्यू टू अ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म कोरोना इसको स्टडी करेंगे तभी इसकी वैक्सीन ढूंढ पाएंगे सो लव योर सब्जेक्ट टू लव एनीथिंग और एनी सब्जेक्ट we first of all must have interest into it let's see some interesting facts about the process of digestion lagbhag 3 din lagte hain jo khana hum khate hain use apni digestive system mein journey complete karne ke liye ek adult digestive system ki length kareeb 30 feet hoti hai liver ek matra aisa organ hai jo apne aap ko regenerate kar sakta hai tongue mein bhi ye quality hoti hai but certain parts of the tongue can only regenerate itself an adult female's small intestine is longer than the male's small intestine the stomach contains hcl which is a very strong acid what protects the stomach from this strong acid it is a mucus lining present all along the gastrointestinal tract throughout the digestive system So let's see the diagram of the digestive system. Do not just see and watch. Take out a pen and a notebook and a pencil. Draw the diagram. Learn it. Mouth and tongue. It has amylase, salivary amylase enzyme into it, which is secreted by the salivary glands. Esophagus is a technical term. In layman's language, it is known as food pipe. Stomach is a J-shaped organ. Liver is the organ that secretes bile juice. Gallbladder is the organ that stores bile juice. Pancreas secretes insulin and the other pancreatic juices. A small intestine, large intestine, rectum, anus, appendix, which is a vestigial organ, 
and is no more longer in use. मुंह में पानी आना क्या होता है बेसिकली द वेरी फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ डाइजेशन टेक्निकली इज नोन एज सिफेलिक फेज डाइजेशन बिगिन्स विथ गैस्ट्रिक सिक्रीशन इन रिस्पॉन्स टू द साइट एंड स्मेल ऑफ फूड एज वी ईट द फूड द मैकेनिकल ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ द फूड स्टार्ट देन बाय द हेल्प ऑफ टीथ एंड टंग we start chewing the food tongue teeth and salivary amylase produced by the salivary glands act and supports the process of digestion and this all happens in the mouth itself with the help of tongue role of esophagus Also known as food pipe or gullet. Iski length takriban 25 centimeter, yani 25 centimeter tak hoti hai. It is closed at both ends from esophageal sphincters. What are sphincters basically? Cycle mein hum hawa bharte hain. Bahar kyon nahi nikalti? Football mein hum hawa bharte hain. Bahar kyon nahi nikalti? Sphincter maujood hote hain. और ज्यादा समझने के लिए यूज योर डिक्शनरी नाउ द फूड दैट वी स्वेलो इन द माउथ टेक्निकली इज कॉल्ड बोलस द मूवमेंट ऑफ बोलस फ्रॉम माउथ टू स्टमक टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू दिस ईसो फैगस दिस फूड पाइप एंड द मूवमेंट थ्रू आउट इज नोन एज पेरेस्टाइल मूवमेंट अब खाना पेट में पहुंच जाता है अब जानते हैं पेट में क्या होता है स्टमक विच इज अ जे शेप्ड ऑर्गन एंड इट कंटेन्स गैस्ट्रिक जूसेस मेनली एच सी एल हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड एंड एन एस सी एल सोडियम क्लोराइड इन द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम द स्टमक इज इन्वॉल्व इन द सेकेंड फेज ऑफ डाइजेशन वट इज काइन काइन इज अ थिक सेमी लिक्विड विच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड वेन फूड रिमेन्स इन स्टमक फॉर एन आर ओ टू इट इज इन इट्स पार्शली डाइजेस्टेड स्टेज पूरी तरह से डाइजेशन नहीं होता यहाँ पर वेन द काइन इज फुली डाइजेस्टेड इट इज एब्जॉर्ब इन द ब्लड एंड इट ऑल्सो परफॉर्म्स केमिकल ब्रेक डाउन प्रोसेस due to enzymes and the presence of hydrochloric acid into the stomach liver the largest gland in human body jiska wazan kareeb 1.5 kg hota hai 1 se 1.5 kg it weighs around 1.5 kg it is also considered as the second largest organ in the human body after skin yeah don't be surprised skin is also considered as the organ in a human body liver ka main kaam hota hai to produce bile and also to regulate the storage of glycogen and this process in biology technically known as glycogenesis liver also detoxifies and regulates the metabolism process in the human body and the location of the liver is right to the stomach which overlies the gall bladder aapne dekha hoga kai baar jab vomit hoti hai to hamare andar se एक डार्क ग्रीन या येलोइश ब्राउन सा फ्लूड निकलता है क्या होता है वो दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड बाइल जिसे हिंदी में पित्त कहा जाता है और इंग्लिश में बाइल या गॉल इट इज अ डार्क ग्रीन टू येलोइश ब्राउन फ्लूड व्हिच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द लिवर इनका मेन फंक्शन है दैट इट एड्स द डाइजेशन ऑफ लिपिड्स इन द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एंड इन ह्यूमन्स 
bile is produced continuously by the liver and is stored and concentrated in the gallbladder which is another organ after eating this stored bile is discharged into the duodenum and it starts acting its work Gall bladder को detail में जानते हैं। It is a small hollow organ where bile is stored and concentrated as we have seen it before। Bile is stored in the gall bladder before it is released into the small intestine। यानी liver से directly small intestine में bile नहीं जाता है। Gall bladder receives and stores bile produced by the liver। why are the common hepatic duct hepatic means jab hum brain se related baat kar rahe hote hain technically so we use the term neuro when we talk about heart we use the term cardiac likewise when we talk about liver we use the term hepatic technically in biology gall bladder releases bile via the common bile duct into the duodenum the main function of bile is to digest the fats gall bladder can be affected by gall stones which is formed by the material that cannot be dissolved usually cholesterol bilirubin etc these all are the product of hemoglobin breakdown aapne suna hoga पथरी होना ये स्टोन होना दिस इज व्हाट दैट मीन दीज मे कॉज सिग्निफिकेंट पेन पर्टिकुलरली इन द अपर राइट कॉर्नर ऑफ द एब्डोमेन एंड आर ऑफन ट्रीटेड विद द रिमूवल ऑफ द गॉल ब्लैडर टेक्निकली दिस टर्म इज नोन एज कोलेसिस्टेक्टोमी प्रैक्टिस करिए कोलेसिस्टेक्टोमी आ जाएगा The next organ in the digestive system is the pancreas which is located in the abdomen behind the stomach and it functions as a gland. Its main function is it acts as an exocrine gland and it secretes pancreatic juice into the duodenum through the pancreatic duct and significantly it regulates blood sugar levels and secretes the hormones called insulin this juice contains bicarbonate which neutralizes acid entering into the duodenum from the stomach and digestive enzymes which break down carbohydrates proteins and fats in food entering the duodenum from the stomach duodenum is the first part of the small intestine pancreas plays a very vital role in the regulation of blood sugar the pancreas is also a key organ in the diabetes patients to regulate their sugar level by secreting the hormones called insulin as stated earlier now the journey of food enters into the next organ called the small intestine where most of the end absorption of nutrients and minerals takes place the location of the small intestine lies between the stomach and the large intestine it receives bile and pancreatic juice through the pancreatic duct to help in the digestion process this we had studied earlier also the small intestine has three distinct regions called the duodenum the jejunum and the ileum स्टमक से खाना स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन में मूव होता है द शॉर्टेस्ट एंड द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इज कॉल्ड ड्यूडेनम ये वही जगह है जहां से एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ वेरियस न्यूट्रिएंट्स टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू स्मॉल फिंगर लाइक प्रोट्रूजन्स और प्रोजेक्शंस जिन्हें विलाई कहा जाता है टेक्निकली 
this is starts from here from duodenum the food now moves into the jejunum which is specialized for the absorption through its lining like mucus the main function of the ileum jo bhi kaam duodenum aur jejunum se bachte hain use complete karta hai the last part of this small intestine called the ileum it basically absorb vitamin b mainly b12 bile salts and whatever products of the digestion that were not absorbed by the jejunum and duodenum finalized by the ileum at the end so ultimately around 95% of the absorption of nutrients occurs in the small intestine the next part of the digestive system is the large intestine in humans the large intestine is about 1.5 meters say around 5 feet long which is about 1/5 of the whole length of the gastro intestinal tract that is starts right away from your mouth the large intestine is also known as the large bowel which is the last part of the gastro intestinal tract and of the digestive system in vertebrates water is absorbed here and the remaining waste material is stored as feces before being removed by the process of defecation the word rectum comes from the latin term rectum intestinum meaning a straight intestine it is the final straight portion of the large intestine in humans and the average adult human rectum is around 12 cm or say 4.7 in in length the rectum is followed by the anal canal which is about 4 cm say 1.6 in in length final exit terminal end of the human digestive system is called the anus derived from the latin word anus means ring or circle it is an opening at the terminal opposite end of an animal's digestive tract from the mouth mouth is considered as the opening end its main function is to control the expulsion of feces unwanted semi solid matter produced during the process of digestion depending upon the type of animal it may include matter which the animal cannot digest such as bones etc here we are ending the video technically the process of digestion ends at small intestine thereafter assimilation and absorption process begins so in the next video we are going to deal with the excretory system do comment your query or any question or any doubts if you have in your mind thank you for watching the video thanks for giving us your valuable time these videos are basically meant for the regular students as well as for the poor students the down trodden section the underprivileged section of the society so try to subscribe and share our channel on youtube and share it as much as possible till it reaches to the needy students thank you so much